Welcome to this video on basic moves. As we move through the seven day series, there will be some terms that we use that are different in forest yoga that maybe you won't have come across before. In this video, you'll be able to pick up on some of the terms that we'll be using throughout the seven day series and beyond and familiarize yourself with concepts that we will be using again and again. Feel free to come back to this video whenever you feel like you need to brush up on what a term is or if you feel a little bit lost in any of the videos. All the way through our sessions together, we'll be using something called Ujjayi breathing. And your aim is to do this in every pose, no matter what is happening. With Ujjayi breathing, you're aiming to do an inhale for a count of five and an exhale for a count of six and engaging the throat in the same way that you would to whisper. When you do Ujjayi with the mouth open, it sounds like this. So what I would like you to do is we're going to do an inhale through the mouth, then closing the mouth and doing the ujjayi exhale through the nose. So we'll do it together. Inhale through the mouth, close the mouth and do the same sound but through the nose. Now doing both through the nose. Inhale and exhale through the nose. As you move through the series, it's important that we're keeping this ujjayi sound as it will help keep you very focused and very attentive on what you're doing, all the while building connection with your yoga practice. Next part is active feet. To work active feet, pressing down through the ball of the foot and lifting and spreading the toe tips. This is going to help give more aliveness to the lower leg and build tendon support for the knees. You'll be doing this in every single pose except for Shavasana. Next move is tucking the tailbone. So your aim is to feel for finding your tailbone and pubic bone. So you can do this just now. On exhale, tucking the tailbone down. So you feel the top of the pelvis moving down away from your spine. You should feel when you've done that, that the low buttock muscles have engaged and you can check that yourself. Next move is telescoping the ribs. Take the hands onto the pelvis Inhale, lift the entire rib cage up away from the hips. Exhale, push down into active feet. You should feel the legs switched on quite a bit more. Next part is wrapping the shoulders. So maintaining all the things we've done so far, bring the elbows up so the elbows are the height of the shoulders. Exhale, draw your shoulder blades back and shoulder blades down. Inhale, reach the elbows forwards. You should feel what has happened is the shoulder blade has moved slightly more towards the front of the body, allowing you to engage chest muscles. We'll be using this in all the different positions like down dog and in lots of other positions. Next part, the most important part, is relaxing the neck. So in all of our poses that we're doing today, instead of looking up at the ceiling or anywhere else, you'll be working with the neck soft so you can begin to take the strain out of these muscles that are frequently overworked. 